Hello, my dear members of the Hypertension X Patients Club. Today we'll talk again about cholesterol, what's considered the norm, and what is pathology. An interesting trend is emerging, or rather, I'd say we've seen this trend for a while. Well, a couple of years ago, the normal level of cholesterol was 5.5. Today, the World Health Organization officially sets the new cholesterol norm to be 5.2 millimol per liter. It's 5.2 now, that's it. I think this trend will persist, and before you know it, it's going to be 4, in 10 years if not earlier. Given the rapid evolution of the pharmacological industry, it'll come down to 4 so that they could prescribe statins as early as possible. Now, when I was graduating from my medical university, it was in 2001, we had our first graduation class of the new millennium. And the normal level was, at least for good clinical practitioners and therapists, with cholesterol, if you were older than 60, the normal range used to be anywhere from 6.8 to 7.8, and these readings weren't considered pathological. And look where this trend has taken us. Now it's 5.2. So, what's the implication here? It means that, unfortunately, unfortunately, it seems on the surface, like there is all the more reason for prescribing statins according to the World Health Organization recommendations. But equally unfortunately, to look at the same World Health Organization reports, this strategy did not improve any cardiovascular health statistics. That is, their recommendations and the resulting report figures contradict each other. So, well, if you are, the way I see it, if you're over 50 or 30 years old, it doesn't even matter if you're 15, children in general can have very high level of cholesterol, because their bodies are actively developing, and that requires a lot of cell mass, that is, you need a lot of cholesterol for the cell membranes. So, the only thing that these high readings should motivate you to do, is to be physically active. That is, to start with, you should do a lot of squats, so that your cholesterol... well, so that it goes where it's meant to be. So that it wouldn't deposit on your blood vessel walls as plaque. This is a signal for you to get active, before anything else. That's the thing to do first, prescribing statins is not it. Don't be alarmed if your cholesterol reached 9, for example. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. 9. Well, do the squats for a month or so. 50 per set, 200 times a day, 4 sets a day. Do the squats and then measure your levels again. Go get tested, measure your cholesterol level. You will see that your cholesterol will go down. Not back to the new normal of 5.2 that I mentioned today, of course. I'm saying this because I do not believe this is the norm. I'd call that subversion of the standard norms. So there, you'll have it at 6 or at 6.5. There is nothing bad in it if you use it up. If you physically actively utilize it, and it goes where it should, toward your synthesis. For the synthesis of the new healthy cellular elements, young cell elements, that is. This way your cholesterol helps you regenerate yourself. That's the true reason why your body elevates cholesterol levels in your blood. It's not that you would stress out and think, God, the plaque is depositing right now, that's it, my blood vessels will be clogged, I'll die. I'd better take a load of statins, maybe I won't die then. Loading up on statins with such high cholesterol won't do you any good at all. I won't go into the extremes here, but you're much better off not doing this. But if you work out, as I recommended, well, maybe you cannot do 200 squats right away. Maybe you'll start with just 50 a day, later you'll get to 100 a day, and later maybe even more. That's when your health will objectively improve. Use your cholesterol as a medicine, for the benefit of your body. Stay healthy. You've been watching Dr. Shoshanin. 
subscribe to our channel and never miss a new video. Click subscribe under this video. Once you clicked it, you are subscribed. Click or tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos to your email. Click on all to receive all notifications. In the description below, you will find the links to all the projects by Dr. Shoshanin. Dr. Shoshanin's Club for X Patients. Dr. Shoshanin's videos. Set up an appointment for a free consultation at the clinic. And stay healthy.